My name is Agnes Buyanami Ongwe, a mixed media visual artist based in Livingston, Zambia, where we run YY Art Studio and Gallery, and also in Livingston District, where we run YY Creatives Village. I'm a mixed media artist, meaning that uh, I combine two mediums in one work. For example, if you look at this painting, which is right next to me, I've actually cut, you know, newspaper cuttings. I've also used the Busa symbols, you know, but it's with uh, acrylic paint. And if you look at the sculpture, which is also right next to me here, it's uh, wood, but I've combined it with beadwork and also uh, hessian. As a mixed media visual artist, um, I use different uh, materials. And I tend to this because when I was in grade eight, I actually, it was my first time to learn how to draw when I was in a girl's uh, class. I was so excited that I drew my portrait of my dad that when I showed it to my mom, my mom looked at it and told me it was zero in my tribe, which actually means it's a taboo. And when she told me that, I told the drawing, I was actually so scared, you know, for two days. I actually thought something bad was going to happen to me. So it is really this mixed media which uh, has made me to learn how to take care of nature, you know, to be more respectful to nature and even with the classes which we're doing here at Waiwai, one of the things that we do is uh, to take care of the environment. The women that I look up to really and that have inspired me greatly is uh, Vana Chimbusa. Vana Chimbusa is a group of women that teach, you know, like girls when they come you know of age at puberty and also they teach a couple you know when they're getting married how to live together as husband and wife so for me these ones that i've uh, networked with are mostly from the north of zambia among the Bemba people i have high regard for these women when it comes uh, to my artwork um the target audience that I have really, it's, uh, I would like it to be appealing to the young and the old. I would like my work to be appealing to Zambians, non-Zambians. I would like it to be appealing to the female, male. I would also like it to be appealing to novice and uh, Konoswa. So now, since the pandemic came, it has really been a, a life-threatening for us here. We uh, have very few clients coming over. We no longer do the classes that used to give us money. We only maintain, you know, the, the supported one, the mentorship class, but even that one, we're not really teaching. So what, what actually happened is uh, I really panicked and really thought maybe I was going to stop art. I thought, okay, maybe I'm going to start agriculture. You know, that's how I went to the local chief Chief Mukuni to ask for land to say, you know, can I would like to start farming because with this pandemic, I'm not sure where it's going. So fortunately, through the royal establishment, we're given land, which we call now Wewe Creative Village. And the idea is to do art, you know, is to do tourism and, you know, sustainable agriculture, you know. So what happened is, uh, I was fortunate enough because I've known some people who've been, you know, like my mentor over the past 30 years. One of them is a board member and uh, I got two other women from around the world who are board members. They decided to put up GoFundMe, which also raised money to kickstart it. So there are things that have happened, like right now we're almost done with the caretaker's house. We are almost putting a boho and the plantings that we started much earlier you know, they've been maintained and some other things are going on. What has actually happened is uh, the coming of the Creatives Village has helped the local community a lot. You know, it has employed women, it has employed men, and it has helped in a way to train them to see things at a different level. So for me, the Creatives Village has been a lifeline for me. It has been something which has really helped me to to keep alive during this pandemic so now when we come to women you know creatives taking up you know dominant space in the creative space 
for me, I feel that uh, the women creative should strive to have equal, to achieve equal access, you know, to and the equal voice with the men. What actually we need to do is to train the men, you know, to educate them, you know, so that they start understanding how they can be there for the women folk. Because, you see, the way it is, we share space and we need to work together. We've given both the girls and boys equal opportunity here, even when there are competitions, there isn't like, no, let's let the women maybe do better than no. Everybody's given equal opportunity and it's very cardinal that right at a young age, the boys are able to start understanding the difference that is there between them and the girls and also know that what a girl can do, you know, the boys can also do and the girls also knowing that what the uh, boys can do, you know, they can also do. So we are leaving that example and uh, we hope that a lot of uh, people can tap from that.